Please welcome back to the show, Corey Hart. Hey, buddy. Nice to see you. Very good. Welcome nice back. You. Thank you. You changed, uh, you changed the room. Yeah, we changed the room a little bit. We moved it a little bit earlier. A little more close, I think. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. more interactive. A little more, in, some intimacy. Um, you're, you're, I mean, you're back in a way. Congratulations on, on, on this version of the song. Why, why let this song come out this way now? Wow. Um, well, it's a strange odyssey, actually, how this thing all you know, took, took shape. Um, this song, um, the, the lyrics and the message in the song, um, I had written it uh, you know, when I was 24, 25 years old, and uh, it was written for uh, the gay community. I had a couple of very close friends that were gay and uh, people that I cared about great, a great deal and uh, saw a lot of suffering and pain. And uh, I wrote this song called Truth Will Set You Free. Mm -hmm. Never had the chance to talk about it because it was never a single. So when, when Paul Todd, this, this DJ that goes by the name of One Love, when, uh, when he wrote me, it was like, man, this is my chance. What's that? Uh, that, I think it's from Barcelona because I just flew in this morning. Well, he got off the plane, so it can't be illicit because they would have found that. I think it's, oh, oh. It, it's Smint. Smint. Did they have them here in Canada? No. Are they good? Uh, you're going to break them. It's like that. No, it, it looks like cocaine or something. But <laughs> 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 so, we'll just leave it there. Yeah, yeah, okay. so, so you have this... Not that I know what cocaine looks like. Hey. You were famous in the 80s, no, bro. No, no, man. You had to have at least... <laughs> You have had to at least seen it in a bathroom once at a party. Let me tell you something. The yep. first time I saw cocaine, um, I was 17. I was in Long Island. And I'm not going to give any more details about the artist, but... Famous? Uh, super famous. And Male or female? And, man, hey. <laughs> Rock star? Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this down. <laughs> okay, carry on. No, no, yeah. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> um, and literally, you know where the console in a recording studio is, 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 is wide, right? And, and these guys were taking you know, um, competition to see who can snort from one end to the other. Right. And they were going and, you know, they go right across the board and then, you know, they looked over to me and they go, okay, Corey, you're up. And I was like, up for what? And I was like, yeah, here's your shot. And I was like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do drugs. And I, I've never done drugs. You were 17. Yeah. There it is, right? So you, the idea of standing up when you're a kid and mm -hmm. making a tough decision and a brave decision is, I think, going back to the conversation about the song and the song you write for the gay community is we've seen a lot of coverage in the news these days about bullying that's yeah. going on. You'd think it'd be gone. It sure isn't. No, but it's come a hell of a long way since, you know, the, the 80s and the 70s and 60s, but, I mean, it's still got a long, long way to go. And when you think about, um, you know, that the, the gay rights are, to me, are human rights. They're, they're tantamount to the same thing. And, and, you know, we got 75 countries, I mean, give or take a few, that um, it's, it's death by, you know, punished by death. You know, if you, right. I mean, how can a government or how can a society dictate who we love? Right. I, mean, I can't tell you who to love. You're going to love who you love. Right. And I, I just, I don't understand, but the, I, I, since the song has come out, I've realized how um, sensitive it is to so many people and how, how, how strong opinions so many people have about it. Well, for most people, whether or not they want to admit it, it's tied completely to their own ignorance or religion. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that overlaps, mm -hmm. right? You mm -hmm. grew up in a strong Catholic community. I mean, just, you know, growing up in Quebec, it's a strong Catholic community. Did you ever experience that? Mm, I, I mean, I experienced homophobia um, just by being around a lot of musicians and, and close friends of mine that, that uh, well, actually, I can give you an example where I experienced it firsthand. Um, yeah, just being the youngest of five kids, my oldest brother um, w was, was kind of um, on my case a lot because I was sensitive and I wanted to write songs and he right. thought that I should be, you know, out there hitting home runs. And there's 20 years difference between us. And wow. my parents split up, so he wasn't even living at home. But when he'd come around and see me, he'd, you know, he'd call me names and, you know, it, it was just unnecessary, painful, and, and hurtful. I mean, that's, that's all I wanted to do as a kid. I wanted to write songs. I wanted, you know, to motivate. I wanted to inspire. And, and I wanted to reach people. First song you wrote was Thank You, right? Yeah. Man, where do you get... You're like the KGB. Well, <laughs> don't mess with the Russians. Or the Mossad. Well, uh, listen, whichever. <laughs> Who were you saying thank you to? I was, I was thanking the piano. Yeah. Because I wrote the song on the piano, and I was thanking the piano thank for the giving, piano. giving me a song. Who's somebody you'd like to say thank you to now? My daughter for putting up for me. <laughs> You know what the worst part for Corey is right now? His daughter's in the front row. His daughter's are, She's right over there. I bet you do not want to hear this conversation. No, no, and she's like, oh, please get me out of here. I, I wanted her up here with me because she's actually... Um, we flew in this morning because she's never seen her dad perform. And uh, it's actually... You've never seen him perform? 
But listen, is, are you, like, you know, some kids are just really embarrassed when their dads do this sort of stuff. Are you excited or slightly embarrassed? Excited. She's excited. Thank you, Dante. Right, right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Corey Hart, everybody.